Good morning, SSIS mathematicians. I'm Mr. Sullivan, and I'm here to guide you through this center activity. What we're going to be creating during this activity is a hexagonal or hexagonal prism. You can see it's a three-dimensional shape. The base has six sides, so the base is a hexagon. However, it's a three-dimensional shape where all of the other sides are rectangles. So that makes it a prism. So it's a hexagonal prism. Our prisms are going to be see-through. So the bases are clear bases. There's not really a solid base, but it's still a prism. Now what we're going to do with these is we are going to, once they're created, we are going to connect them together to make a tessellation. We're going to take all of our hexagonal prisms, we're going to hang them together and make our own honeycomb. A hexagonal prism honeycomb or a hexagonal prism tessellation. Now to make your own, the first thing you're going to do is gather your cell template. This is what you're going to start with. And you're just going to decorate it. You're going to color it. You and your family design anything you want to design on it. Here's the one I designed. Because it's math morning, I wanted to have a math theme. But you can do whatever you want. It's your family's design. The next step after you've designed. Take your design template and you're going to fold it in half with the design on the inside. So as carefully as you can, as accurately as you can, line up the corners. And fold it in half. Again, making sure that your design is on the inside of your fold. Then you're going to take a piece of tape. You want your piece of tape to be about the same length as this side. Take this tape and again carefully line up the corners, fold the tape over so you are left with something like this. The design is on the inside. Next step, you're going to take this template. Now if you'll notice, this template is the exact same length as your hexagonal template. I'm going to lay them flat on the table so the ends line up and you're going to make two little marks using the template to show you where you're going to make your next folds. Now don't be concerned with marking the outside of your template because your design is on the inside. That's the only thing we need to worry about. The outsides you're not going to see. Once you've done that, you're going to fold, again as accurately as possible, you're going to fold right along that mark that you made. And do that to both marks. So we have now taken this piece and folded it into thirds. Once you've done that, we open it up. Now you'll need to fold backwards two of those folds so that when you open it up, 
you have created your own hexagonal prism. Now, once you have your hexagonal prism made, you're going to bring them to the atrium. And down in the atrium, we are going to start connecting them together. So what we have here is the beginning of our SSIS honeycomb. Now we call it a honeycomb because bees make the same design out of beeswax to store their honey in. So we'll just keep connecting these. begin to make our own tessellation. We are making a tessellation of hexagonal prisms that we can continue to add to as long as we want to. Bring them down to the atrium as soon as you get them done and we can start hanging them up. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Have fun.